Hello, bro. Hello, bro. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, straight to the point. A quick one. There was a press conference today, and uh, the Nigerian coach Pesera said something that I found very fascinating. He said, this time, the Super Eagles are going to take their chances. And that statement is perhaps not unconnected with the game against Cote d'Ivoire tomorrow. So, what do you really think about that comment he made? Well, um... Nigerians, I know, Nigerians out there are not happy, but the, the coach has to talk. And this time around, he has talked. And uh, the question is, uh, is he making a, a good point? Is he really promising Nigeria? What is he going to do? And why is he saying this? Hmm. But then, I think that if Nigeria wants to succeed in this Afghan, Nigeria needs to take their chances. Nigerians are creating chances. You can't take that away from them. Because during the last game against Equatorial Guinea, Nigeria, uh, the Super Eagles, created six big chances. Six big chances. And out, out of that, only one was a goal. Mm. Nigeria had 19 shots on that day. Mm. And at the end of the day, it was just one goal. Okay? Then what about... The Ivory Coast that we're going to meet. Ivory Coast playing at home, playing against Guinea Bissau, that this is their first AFCON, had 10 shots, scored two goals. So if you check by stats, shoulder to shoulder, you find out that Nigeria can do the needful. Nigeria can beat Ivory Coast at home. In front of that, there are 60,000 capacity stadium nigeria should be able to beat ivory coast mm. mind you this same ivory coast is not the ivory coast of 2013 okay they are golden era but even in that 2013 nigeria carried the afcon that was the last afcon nigeria carried in 2013 mm. and history has also said that for every afcon that Nigeria goes to with the king of Africa, that's the best player of Africa, two things happen. It's either Nigeria carries the trophy or makes it to the finals. Mm. And I'm talking about in 1994, when Rashidi Yekini was the, the king of Africa, and in 2000, when Kano Wanko was the king of Africa. Mm. In those two cases, Nigeria was able to make it to the final. One, they lost. The other, they carried the trophy. So these are the records. I mind you, for me, stats work. Um, and this time around, you have somebody like Victor Usime. Um, but then, um, we cannot um, not argue the fact that Victor Usime has not had a fine um, last three months. Or this new season has not been so cool to him. Um, he has not been firing, let's face the fact. But then uh, we saw how he came, uh, the goal he scored, and uh, the one he also ballooned. But then, do I have hope in him? The answer is yes. Because when you check during the AFCON qualifiers, he, be he had 10 good goals. Are you getting? He had 10 good goals, making him the top scorer during the qualifiers. So what do you expect? Somebody that has been giving his all, even when Nigeria did not really perform well in front of goal, he was able to score that goal. And that goal came two minutes after um, Equatorial Guinea had already scored. Two minutes, he just banged in that goal. And then we are just waiting whether he will continue. So for the coach, he has made his point. Does Nigeria, or the Super Eagles, do they have what it takes to score goals? I think yes. The, the point I, I've also made is that for um, Simon Moses, he should leave that position that he was played. They should give him his natural his right position. natural position. Mm. Let him play where he's supposed to play. Um, for um, uh, what's his name? Alex Iwobi, who Nigerians really attacked. Okay, um, but then. Um, Unfortunately for him, he has a brother or he has a cousin in uh, JJ Okocha who also spoke with him and told him, Guy, you need to put in your best. 
just put in your best. Don't mind any distraction, okay? Put in your best, and by the time you put in your best, don't worry, everything will play out real nice. So we are waiting. We are waiting. It's, it's almost here. <laughs> and uh, can Nigeria carry the day? I've told you the, the answer is yes, Nigeria can. But then any result that come its way, I think it will be a favorable result for any team. And mm. there will be nothing even much to drag about it. Mm. And, and apart from that, to me, like you rightly said, uh, uh, Nigeria can. To me, I feel the ball is in their court. Because all they just have to do is to make sure their chances are being converted. Now, let's talk about uh, Ushimen. Now, you know, in the last game, like you said, there were some chances that were actually created that Ushimen missed. But do you think uh, if Ushimen had someone like Victor Boniface operating with him, do you think Nigeria would have this challenge? I mean, the Super Eagles will have these challenges they are having in this AFCON. Uh, it has not even clicked for Victor Boniface. Though. Okay. Victor Boniface, for what the, the ones that the, the opportunities he got before the AFCON, what did he use it for? If you ask me, he has not uh, shown... He has not been scoring. He has not been... He has not really mixed with the team as far as I'm concerned. He's doing excellently when no two is about that. He's a professional. He's a good player out there in Germany. But for Super Eagles, the few games that he has been given, I don't think he has made good account of them. Okay? But then, this is football. Do we have people to replace him? The answer is yes. Unfortunately, too, for Sadiq Uma, Sadiq Uma, who... We thought um, had an injury. Well, yes, he had a, a knock. But then what happened? He was shipped out of the, of the tournament and was declared unfit for the tournament. What is happening? My brother, today, as two of us are here now, talking this, Sadiq Uman is in the bench of Real Sassoudat this night. The same player that was marked unfit for the entire tournament is there on the bench. I don't know whether he'll be he'll be let in, but then he has also been he was declared fit for his darling club. Oh, see, you just begin to wonder what kind of uh, uh, will I say um, unprofessionals do we have as a medical team? We be scammed. My brother, I don't know. I don't know whether something happened. I don't know. I believe something happened. I don't know because it's very, it's very funny. It's very funny. You, you declare somebody unfit for the entire tournament that he should go home. And he went home and he's... Next he, minute he's, he's, he's on the bench. As in there. <laughs> um, uh, what a joke. It's wonder of the world <laughs> happening in AFCON. Oh, yes, all right. Yes, so, yes, so, so, uh, let's, so let's see how it turns out for the Super Eagles tomorrow. Hopefully, like Peseria said, they take their chances and they make Nigeria smile at least. At least. If we can just win Ivory Coast tomorrow. Let's assume. Imagination, imagination won't keep football in there. <laughs> but see, 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 um, like I said, if Ivory Coast wins, good for them. Mm. If Nigeria wins, good for them. If it comes out as a throw, there's always something to say about it because at the end of the day, both teams can win this game, both teams can lose the mm. game, both teams can either get a draw. Yes, I, I just hope Spy goes make us proud because right now I'm not ready to make his or calculator. I'm not ready for that. I, I can't be a mathematician anytime. <laughs> anytime a tournament like this comes. I don't have that time. So thank you so much for thank joining you, us. Thank you. Have a lovely time. Same here, bro. Thank you. All right.